Hey guys, it's Katie here and today you might tell I'm now home from London. Um been quite a hectic week. Um since I got back I've had guests down. Um and but yesterday we finished the final mile together. But as you can see I'm not alone today. <laughs> We've got Angelina is there? Hi. We this is the young girl that I have been doing the walk with. Um but today I thought we would shoot the second part of Living with Sturge Weber part two with a younger member. Yeah. So what I'll do mm. I'll ask you a couple of questions. Mm. And then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay? So when you started school, yeah, what was the one thing you struggled with? Probably making friends. Making friends, yeah. I have to admit, and I've mentioned this in the last video with Sophie, we, with people with dis disabilities, we, and not even just disabilities, but a lot of people in general, we struggle to make friends. Mm. With our weakness, you know, we get bullied or um, we don't get recognised as being like anyone else, mm. do we? No. And what I think a lot of people don't realise as well is that with our disabilities we struggle. Mm. We both have weaknesses, yeah. however Angelina's weak side is her left side, which for me is my good side. So, for us, it's handy, because if we want to hold hands, we can. I guess that's one handy thing, isn't it? Yeah. But, another question I want to ask you yeah. is, how do people react to your birthmark? People, like, ask about it. Like, my friend's little sister asked about it. About what, why it's there? Yeah. And what do you say to them? I say, well, born with it. Yeah, I get that question a lot. Um, thankfully for me, obviously as you guys know, I've had a lot of laser treatment, um, which means mine isn't as dark as it used to be. Angelina's has not had any for a while, have you? No. So Angelina's birthmark, if you don't mind me showing them, mm -hmm. is quite not bad, but you can see that it's all under her eye here. Whereas, thankfully for me, obviously mine just goes from my nose to here. Mm -hmm. Now, Angelina actually inspires me because, you know, the the challenges I've I've completed and I've done, Angelina's now going through. Yeah. Like the transition into secondary school. Not that you're moving schools, are no. you? But you're still moving up to the second school yeah. kind of thing. And how do you feel about it? Well, I'm staying in the same class, so I'm not that as worried. So you're not worried at all? No. I think for me, um, also, you know, going up to secondary school, I moved, I actually moved schools. I was in mainstream schools. Um, but growing up, how do you find growing up with it? I take no notice of it. You just get on with it? Yeah. Trying to live every day to the full? Mm. That's what I try to do, um, you know, as you guys know, I struggle a lot with kind of anxiety. Do you struggle with a separation anxiety from your mum? No. So you're saying that if your mum goes away to work? Yeah. And you're with Nanny? Mm -hmm. You're okay? Yeah, because I know her. You know her, yeah. I mean, I find that when I'm with, if I, obviously me being... 19 I'm allowed to be home alone um, but I also think growing up you know from the age of 11 which feels like a very long time ago if I do say so myself wasn't always easy mm -mm. Um, for me throughout my whole school life obviously I've been on loads of different medication um, 
you know, and the thing is, with Stairs Day, but obviously I've said this in the previous video, it isn't noticeable. Hmm. Um, and I mean, if we weren't diagnosed with it, and people saw us in the street, people wouldn't think we're disabled. You know, if you don't mind me showing, yeah. Angelina's hand, she can't, and I'm not going to try and do it because I don't want to hurt you, whereas with me, she can't straighten her hand, whereas obviously with me, I can. So, and that's not because we've, we're different, I mean we are different, mm -hmm. but I... So especially with the hospitals in Brighton, I don't know what the hospitals are like in Norfolk, mm. but the hospitals are a lot more strict with physio exercises. Um, they, you know, they push you to the full potential, which I'm guessing that's what they do at yours, right? Yeah. They try to do everything. I mean, Angelina. One thing Angelina is good at, which I'm not, is actually wearing her afro. I'm not gonna show that. Mm. I'm not gonna make you get off because it's not fair. But what I will do, if it's okay with you, is I'll just show them her afo. So she's got owls on her afo. And glamorous shoes, which I'm jealous about. <laughs> um, whereas mine, in all honesty, and I'm not going to lie to you, is, I don't even know where mine is, downstairs, is plain black and boring. Um, but also... It's important for other people to know that when you're disabled, and obviously I said this in the previous video, not all disabilities are visible. Mm. Um, when I go to college, for example, and I sit in a priority seat, people question me. Um, you know, you shouldn't be sat there. Why are you sat there? As a young person, I shouldn't have to explain myself, and I won't. They have a problem, they can talk to the bus driver. Don't give a poop. But growing up with it, generally, mm. what do you see your future as? Just living a normal life. Living a normal life. Mm. To get a job. Yeah. To have a family. Yeah. And I mean, I think the thing that's helped me personally is I met Angelina at the family weekend. Mm. And we have become quite close in the last few years, haven't we? Yeah especially you look up to me right yeah you can bear you can put up with me yeah because not a lot of people can <laughs> but we have just finished a 198 mile walk together we're not completely finished it's going to take time mm. but we did our last mile together didn't we yeah yesterday we've been on the news I don't think I've ever been so popular I've never had so many messages um but what I want you guys to know is Sturge Weber is what we live with. Yeah. And it's not just a birthmark. Mm. And if people want to donate, then I will put the link down below. Yeah. And we will especially be eternally grateful for any that we get. Obviously, the amount we've got already, we're super grateful aren't we yeah. we appreciate that people are willing to give us their money to help support us we totally get that um what i want you guys to know is angelina will always be my soulmate we have had the most incredible people surrounding us the last couple of days haven't we yeah especially if we didn't think we'd be able to do this this year so i mean i'm gutted that you're going home friday <laughs> I have to admit. But we've had fun, right? Yeah. Oh We're going to end it here. We're going to go and celebrate. Yeah. Because we need it, mm. don't we? Mm. And I will be back with you next week to upload another video. Have a good day. Bye.